Yeah. Okay, this this is where we put it right here. Uh, that piece actually replaces that cornice. The piece we actually made went right in that corner area. I don't know if you can see that too well. But it's the uh, it's the curve section. Okay, here's how we fix that cornice. Um, we took four pieces of tiling room flooring. Actually, it's the flooring, the pine flooring and bead board from Home Depot. You can see it's bead board on the other side here. And we uh, used like, an exterior, like a gorilla glue. You can see that in here. Relatively. And we lashed something together. And we kind of each one made the turn a little more. It wasn't a perfect fix, but it was cheaper than going to a, um, a milk shop and spending big money to have it fixed. Now, on the other side, you can see we. We gorilla glued that pretty darn good. Um, it doesn't show on this piece, but we actually put brackets in here too to help hold that together. But the main thing I wanted to show you is the four pieces of me more on this side and pine flooring on the other side. And the gorilla glue to hold it all together. Yeah, and we kind of made that into a curve. We made that into a curve. You see the curve here? And that's what we used to, to fix that cornice up in the top of the house. Okay, you can see here, this is the actual piece of the building. Uh, you can see there is a, you can see the bevel in it. This is actually one half of it. Other piece was running away. But this is the piece that we uh, used the Mimor to uh, repair and replace. 